So we already know my career progression, but I have been asked a lot of times about my tech salary progression over the years. Today, I wanted to talk about numbers. So here's my tech salary progression. So the first role I had in the tech industry was technical support specialist at Printfleet. That is the company where I interned as an IT admin. So I was able to secure a position in the support and my salary was around 38,000 Canadian dollars a year. And this was back in 2018. I was fresh out of college. I completed my two year diploma and this was my first job. So I think it was a really good salary based on the location, what I was kind of expecting it to be. And I know it seems a lot less now to a few folks, but I was happy, I was content. I definitely was looking for an opportunity to enter the tech world and this was my chance. So fast forward a year and we know that I got promoted to cloud operations engineer and I was making around 55,000 Canadian dollars a year as I got my promotion. And then in my second year, my salary was increased to 65K, so a $10,000 increase. So now we are talking about 2020 at this point, and I was making $65,000 a year. And this is at the same company, but we were acquired by ECI, which was a US-based company. So just to put it out, I'm still at the same company. And this was my second year as the cloud operations engineer. 2021, I made it to DevOps engineer. So I was a DevOps engineer at the same company again, but I made around $89,000 a year. If you want to round it up, let's say I made 90K. So $90,000 a year in 2021. And this is the base salary. I didn't have any stock options until this point. And I also received, I think two bonuses every year uh, they ranged from thousand to two thousand dollars so yeah in total ninety thousand dollars a year as a devops engineer and just to give you a reference all of these three positions were based out of kingston ontario so there you have it this i think location did play a role before like covid and stuff because there were not many remote roles available and yeah now moving on to my Google numbers. I don't have the exact number because I haven't been here a year yet. So, and the numbers that I've shared is either based on my pay stubs or like you receive the year end total in your T4s and you see how much you made that year, right? So for my Google numbers, I don't have the exact number yet, but what I have been offered is around, I can give you a range. So it's I'll be making around one hundred twenty-five to one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars a year in Canadian dollars. This includes my base, my stocks, and I also have a bonus based on my performance, which could range depending on how I perform. So yeah, that's it. I wanted to make this video because it has really helped me to kind of see what tech salaries are and how much I should be expecting because I still remember back in 2020, I think, when I hit that 65K mark or 65,000 mark, I was like, oh, this is the most I'm gonna make. And I think the reason, like I still have gratitude to this day. I, I know that I posted this numbers on TikTok and I got a lot of appreciation, but also a lot of comments saying, hey, you make way less like you should be making more in the end i'm happy i'm content because i still remember uh, those days when i made ten dollars an hour working at the gas station or delivering pizzas right so i have a lot of gratitude when it comes to where i am now so yeah i hope you find this video helpful well until next time peace out